this question how do you put a value on your offering in God's eyes not in your eyes but in God's eyes think about it God owns the cattle on a thousand hills the silver's his the gold is his everything on planet earth is God's do you know how difficult it is to set value on something if you own everything Guaranteed, there's a guaranteed harvest on precious seed. Praise God. I'm going to make sure people are still listening to God. If you haven't heard from God yet, pray again. He's going to speak to you. Praise the Lord. I feel some of you in this room, I feel that there's a half a million pesos God is speaking to someone in this room right now. Businessman in this room, that God is speaking to you. I'm not trying to jack that up. I'm simply trying to confirm what God has said in this room. You're hearing from God. Several in this room right now, God is speaking 10,000 pesos. Listen to God. Trust Him. He knows what needs to go on the ground. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In other words, if something hurts you, then that hurts God. And when it comes time to deal with your offering, church, whatever value you place on that offering is the same value that God places on that offering. See, that's the only way that the widow with the two mites could have outgiven all the fat cats that day. You're going to have to ask yourself every time you come to an offering, what does this offering mean to me? Because if it doesn't mean much to you, it won't mean much to God. And church, let me tell you right now, if it don't move you, it won't move him. When I was here last time, can I speak this? When I was here last time, God spoke to someone in this room to give a million pesos in the offering. They gave one million pesos in the offering. And the word has come back to me that they have seen God continually moving in their finances since they've done it. Now, I do not know that person. I don't want to know exactly who it is. It's not why I've said it. You don't need to know exactly who it is if you don't know who it is. But the truth of the matter is you need to know God there is an anointing on my life for this. And God moves whenever I am allowed to do what God tells me to. And if people do what he says, 
for every one of the items on there. God, I ask right now in the name of Jesus that you multiply this back to the giver 100 fold. In the name of Jesus. And God, I speak in the name of Jesus right now that you do it quickly. God, I speak that there are miracles that break loose in this house. God, that there is just a flow of miracles that just begins to take place all around this city, even before some leave tonight and make it to their house. God, that there will be financial blessings that start taking place already. I speak this in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. This house. God, the untouchable is moving right now. Change is taking place in the spirit realm right now. In these people's lives. I 